There has been a new two-man grinding spot added to Black Desert, and I am here to tell you all about it. After this spot initially released, I had spent roughly about 70 plus hours grinding here and now sharing with you what I've learned about it. Now, first off, let me say that my recommended gear score for players to be here is about 281 AP with Kudum and 331 DP. These guys hurt. I've had some party mates with 272 Kudum accompanied with a Tet Black Star, so depending on your class, you might be able to make this work for you. The two-man grinding spot has been an extension added to Abandoned Monastery. The node for this spot can be found right here, just southwest of Calfion. My guildie and I are going to try testing the new dual grinding spot. Looks like the spot's empty. And I'm going to start keeping track of every single hour and see if we can improve off and see if I can give you guys an idea of what we are doing. Currently right now, I am at 289 Kudum and my teammate is at 284 Kudum, just to give you guys an idea. So I'll keep you guys updated throughout the way and we'll just see how it goes. So far, just getting into it, it looks like it feels like so far this grind spot feels like a figure eight. More notable things that I've noticed is it drops Ancient Relic Shards. Trash Loot is worth 15,000 each at the moment. So Ancient Magic Crystal Carmaze that also are dropping. These are currently valued around 10 million silver on our current marketplace. Looks like we have Ancient Spirit Dust here as well, so you can get Kafras. Regular Trash Loot, I'm seeing ones, twos, the occasional three here as well. And now we've gone from a level one node to level eight now. So we'll have this level 10 soon. Why don't we go ahead and let's just pop a loot scroll. This isn't gonna be to track trash power, just to simply look at the consistency of the number drops. Ooh, still can get ones. So loot scrolls definitely work here. Threes and fours, I wonder if we'll see a five. Probably not. So a lot of threes, a lot of fours, some ones. Haven't seen a two. So good to know that loot scrolls definitely work here. I want to just watch to see how fast these mobs are spawning from when they die. Let's go ahead and start a timer right now, just to get a basic idea of when these guys are respawning. Because the spawn rate down here I'm noticing seems abnormally fast. I'm gonna hang out at this pack here. Let's see what happens. About a minute. About a minute. I have a minute and 10 seconds. I'm gonna say probably about a minute on some of these mobs. Interesting. This is a war channel. We just lost our, oh my God, no way. Bro, this was about, are you fucking serious? Ah, that sucks. There's four orbs up right now. So let's take a second to break down the loot table a little bit and I will explain these orbs after. The trash loot that these mobs drop are valued at 15,000 apiece. On Loot Scroll, you're wanting to shoot for about 4,000 trash and beyond. I found that any less than this almost makes the spot feel not worthwhile at all. That's just my opinion. Looking at some of the lower end tier loot, you will see Ancient Spirit Dust to make Kafra Stones, Armor and Weapon Black Stones, but be aware, not many drop per hour. It's actually pretty bad. Last on the lower tier list, we have Ancient Relic Shards. At mid-tier loot, we only have Ancient Magic Carme Crystals, and that's it. But let's take a look at the bread and butter, the Dawn Earring. You have Raw Dawn's Drop, as well as an item to craft Dawn Earrings, Dawn's Resentment. Hover over the item and it will show you the recipe, and trust me, it's super easy to make. Now the last thing I want to talk about are the orbs that spawn on the rotation. If five of these red orbs spawn on your rotation, a boss will spawn soon and it will notify the entire server that the boss will spawn in roughly five minutes. After spending hours upon hours grinding down here, we are absolutely convinced that the orbs are treated like rare drops, meaning a mob has a chance to spawn an orb. These orbs do not spawn over time. They only spawn through active grind time on the rotation. So consider this a third way to be able to obtain a rare drop. 
Once the boss spawns and hoping you don't run into anyone that takes the boss from you through means of PvP, you and your partner have a 100% chance to obtain a rare drop once killing the boss. And it is really cool. Something I hope that gets added to more grind spots as the game progresses. Word on the street is that this boss will drop a rare drop 100% of the time for two people, but drop loot for up to three to five players. Supposedly the three to five can vary, so I wouldn't plan on trying to bring a full party with you. The rare drop is awarded to the players with the highest DPS. Almost dead. Nice. I got a massive pure magic from that too. <laughs> and a massive pure magic, not bad. Yeah, fun boss. And that is about all you need to know about the two-man grinding spot in Abandoned Monastery. The grind spot basically feels like Aukman with low AP and lots of CCs from the mobs. My overall opinion is that I think this spot is a breath of fresh air and a nice change of pace from the solo grind. It's not the best money making spot in the game and instead it's competitive with top tier spots which makes it feel rewarding to grind with friends. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Please consider giving this a like if you've learned something from this and subscribe to check out all the other content that I regularly post. Good luck on your adventures and until next time.